Hi, if you clicked through from my Flickr account, you'd be forgiven for expecting a video of Botello, my Otello playing Lego machine, in action. It would start out with some impressive looking stats, feature some upbeat background music, and conclude with Botello comfortably winning a game of Otello. You'd be wrong. Botello is extremely unreliable, to the point that I haven't had it succeed in playing through one full game without hiccups. First, the ultrasonic sensor has problems discriminating between the positions, in particular those far away from the sensor. So you pick position A, and then, likely because of spurious reflections and absorption in the walls and ceiling, position B is rotated. But what's causing the most trouble is the engaging mechanism. This is how it's supposed to work. Each one of the small 16 tooth gears that you see in this image is eventually connected through a series of other gears and axles up to one of these rolls. Here are a few more layers of such connections. And here's the side view with the rolls in place. The point is, if you rotate a 16 tooth gear, you'll rotate a roll. Now when it's time to make a move, one of the three motors sets the gear racks in motion and makes the axis all along the racks rotate. To connect this rotation over to a select roll, a second motor turns an L bar and pushes out an axis like this. A third motor controls which one of the axes gets engaged by moving the red trolley. You can have any number of axes engaged simultaneously. At this point, the driving motor will rotate three of the rolls. Disengaging is very simple. Just rotate the engager back by some 200 degrees and the black sliding plate pushes all driving axes back to their initial position. There is a mirror copy of the setup on the other side, only it's off by one stud, so the engager can choose between 36 distinct positions. The engager itself is working quite robustly. It pushes in the axle that it hits. Where the mirror side has a stop, you want the engager to fit in between two axles, and that it does. If the position is a bit off, it's fine, it will still work. What's a lot less reliable is the clutches. Depending on the condition of the gears, the tow balls and the axle hole connectors, they can be slightly too smooth. This makes the driving axle slide out when you rotate it. Another issue is that you need to make sure the rotation angles of the axis aren't too mismatched. 45 degrees or so is not a problem, but go anywhere near 90 degrees and it doesn't work. This is admittedly less critical, because it should be possible to tune the setup in the program so that the axis remain relatively synced. Even when everything else seems to work, every once in a while there's this terrifying sound of a stuck gear and you know you messed up. So this was a lot of fun for a while, but I believe my next build will be a house.